Morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, thanks for watching our video yesterday going to 7-Eleven. Today we're uh, just waking up and we're eating uh, a 7-Eleven delivery. Uh, eating some Joe, uh, some hot dogs again, same thing. And Lambs has a hot dog. These are just about, uh, these are cheap, 30 baht a pack, $1 a pack for the hot dogs and they're delicious with cheese. And this, all this for $6. Lamb has a sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, three packs of hot dogs, two huge, two pretty big size bowls of Joe, and that's it. And oh, and a coffee. Cafe. A cafe yen. Cafe Americano or latte yen. All this for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dollars. So today the plan is. <laughs> she says she's fat. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Huh? What? Chai, you think oh my own. You think fat, not fat. <laughs> I think Sway Ma. Not Thailand. In Thailand, prettiest girl. Prettiest girl in Thailand. My my fat. No fat. Chai. One my fat, my one. Palm <laughs> <laughs> fat tini. Tini my own. Tini fat. Fat in Thailand is Uwen. In fat in the Thai language fat is uwen or pampui. Uwen. So, pom pampui ru uwen. Hmm? Pom uwen ru pampui. 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 So that's a cute fat. So, uh, cute is nara. Nara. So, chai. So, nara uh, pampui means cute fat. So today's plan is lamb, wani kun tamare, dombai. This afternoon, what will you do? Aza. The game. The game looks it's this afternoon she's gonna relax on the sofa and play a game and I'm going outside to uh, walk uh, the closed businesses of Patia so I'm gonna do about three four five minutes of video today uh, and uh, and show you what's going on on the Patia side and all the businesses are closed in Thai Borisak Bud Borisak Bid Chai Borisak Bid so today I show you that I will show you that sorry my Thai and English get a little mixed up. Anyway, okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, but basically, I wanted to start here because I'm going to go to the most famous part of Pattaya, which is Walking Street, and see uh, see what COVID's done there. I haven't actually been down it in some time, but I've been staying over in Jam Tiem, uh, about two or three kilometers away uh, for a couple months. And uh, so I'm out and about. <laughs> so actually this street seems to be pretty lively. Uh, this is one street over from the Avani, the beautiful Avani five-star hotel is uh, just one street over there to the south. So it looks like some people are out on this street, but uh, as you can see behind me, all the, all the massage, all the girl shops, everything is closed. All the restaurants. People are out and about, but everything is closed. So, we're coming up on the beach, so let me, uh, let me show you what's going on. Okay, we are coming up on, there's the Patia sign, Patia City. And... There is Naklua, North Patia down there. There's North Patia. The beach is completely empty. In fact, it's a fine to be on the beach. So we are headed right here. We are basically at the entrance. Uh, we'll be there in two minutes, right in front of us. This big, big blue building in front of me is the Patia Beer Garden. Uh, it was open almost every night and then went to weekends and now I believe it's shut down for COVID or everything shut down. So it's shut down as well for COVID. And uh, that, that's the entrance to uh, Walking Street where we're going today. And right behind me is the um, Patia Walking Street. There's the famous sign and we know everything's closed. I hope you can see that. And, uh, but we're gonna go in and take a look and see what's going on.
Let's go. The 7-Eleven is uh, pretty much walled up for now, completely closed. Even the ATM and the uh, true top-up machine don't seem to be in action here anyway. It says open, but definitely closed. Hard shot. Across the street, we have full rent. Another full rent. I've eaten there before. Definitely won't eat there right now. So here's a closed go-go bar. Here's one for rent, for sale. The Golden Club. And a go-go, doesn't say for sale or for rent, but it's closed. The Miami nightclub, it says. Okay, now there's a sign for uh, the Insomnia Eye Bar. It's pretty much the Patia staple of places to go in the after hours. Closed pharmacy, another pretty much blocked up 7-Eleven. However, here's a bright spot. The ATM seems to be working. Another for rent. Don't know what it is. Infinity a go go for rent. Another for rent. 
the art shop. Pen up. I don't know what that is other than a go-go, but it's, uh, it must be waiting it out. I don't see any for rent signs. So we're nearing the end here of uh, our tour of Walking Street. been here forever uh back in the 90s this was the actually uh this was the place to go uh, up those stairs and into a big nightclub but now i don't know what's up there since since then it's changed and it's infinity that maybe i walked right past i didn't i didn't see it uh another seven locked up So every single shop appears to be closed. With over half, I would say no chance of reopening. It doesn't look like it's reopening. It doesn't look like it's reopening. It's for sale. Boom Boom Sushi Room. Sounds interesting. So here's an open convenience store. So there is some life here for the people working on projects around here. And there's some hotels and places to stay on up the road a little bit. That's pretty much as far as I'm gonna to go today. There's another seven up there. Up there, we're getting into some tourist areas to stay, so maybe there's some people staying there. Uh, some things might open back up up there. So behind me is Club Panda. And down the street is, uh, uh, we're basically turning into restaurants. So this is pretty much the end. Uh, got McDonald's. There's a, two or three restaurants in a row right here. So I'm pretty much gonna call this the end of the clubbing area. And behind me here, you see a, um, you see the Panda Barbecue. It's got some electric wires. Looks like it's got enough, plenty of electricity. <laughs> electric wires coming down. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mess right there. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna head back now. And if I see Club Infinity, I'll take a shot for you. All right probably the last place to close uh, during COVID, but they've covered everything up. Their sign's covered up. I don't even know if it's gonna be uh, the same bar anymore. Wanted to get it on here because that was pretty much the only place to go there and the, before they shut everything down in Patia. So Lamb has called me from the room. And uh, Lamb has called me from the room and uh, she wants me to do some shopping. So I'm going to look through these clothes here and uh, see what we have. So we have uh, shorts. And what do you have here? Any pasta thai? 
Kuchang. Kuchang. So this is a one set piece. One set, I mean one set for one set. One set, one set piece. So we're gonna look through this and see what Lamb wants. Okay, so we got Lamb. Uh, I called her. We got her a. Uh, we got her something here. I think she likes it. She saw it on the video. Let's see. So we're headed home now. Thanks for joining me out here, and we'll see you in a minute. We've arrived home. Brad. Chief, my bad. <laughs> I guess she's not dressed. That's why she needed these clothes. Anyway, so we'll give her a second and see if she likes it. So we're back home. I brought Lamb her gift. She says it's a little small. Lek nitnoi. Chai. But it was only, it's a short and top or one piece, but it was only 200 baht. It cost $6. So that was our shopping for the day. So kun chop, my chop, chop nitnoi. Chop. Uh, she says that it's a little, it's a little short, a little tight down here in the bottom in the shorts. Gang gang, gang gang kasan. Gang gang kasan, kupasatai. Gang gang kasan shorts. <laughs> so that's the end of our video today. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow, Pruni. So uh, today set Lao. We're finished. So say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.